Mr. Speaker, here's the sign at a gas station at the corner of Pike Street and I-77 in Marietta, Ohio. Three sixty-nine for a gallon of unleaded regular, and it's one example of surging gas prices across southeastern Ohio. When President Obama took office, the price for a gallon of gas was a dollar eighty-six. It has now doubled, and some estimate that it will be around five bucks by this summer. This is just one indicator that President Obama's energy policies have failed America and are continuing to make our economy worse. He says that he wants an all-the-above approach to energy, but his actions do right the opposite. In fact, President Obama cut oil production on federal lands by 11 percent last year, and he blocked the Keystone XL pipeline. We can't afford President Obama's destructive energy policies anymore. Not only will increased energy production lower the price at the gas pump, but it will create much-needed job now. Hardworking Americans need both, not more of the same from President Obama. And with that